Well, it, uh, it really was no secret that 2020 wasn't a good year for the majority of us. Disney World is going to be shutting down, as is Disneyland out in California. Disney was first to announce it would close Sunday evening, then SeaWorld and Legoland. But if there's one thing I gained from 2020, it was that I, I learned so much. Today I'm gonna to do a YouTube slash life rewind that ultimately caused me to leave my dream job at Disney. In case you missed it right here, I uh, did a video on why I left my job at Disney World. And I do wanna say thank you guys so much for all the support that you guys had in that video, all the new subscribers, all the nice comments. Thank you guys so, so much. Beginning January 4th, the daily videos are gonna be returned. So let's rewind all the way back to the beginning of 2020. First of all, I didn't post too much on YouTube during 2020 simply because I had that full-time job as a VIP tour guide, which I was working crazy hours, about like 80 hours a week, and it was it was amazing. And then quarantine happened, and I kind of just got lost, so we'll, we'll cover that a little bit later. Now, if you guys were following me back in January, you guys would know that I was ending the daily vlogs. I filmed for a whole year and uploaded each and every single day for a year, and January was the final month of the daily vlogs. The end of my daily vlogs is it's coming very soon. Again, those are coming back January 4th, next year, 2021. Can't wait, Olivia, can't wait. January was a really cool month for me. Again, like I said, I was ending the daily vlogs. <sighs> Getting a little parched. I was uploading every day, basically living my dream job of creating each and every single day for you guys, for an audience, for anybody who is gonna watch my videos. Literally the best thing ever. I got to go to the Disney parks every day, film my life every day. Got to have tons of drinks at Epcot. Film exciting events, eat all the different favorite snacks at Disney. Ah, it was it was a dream job, and I was really really proud of myself because I was also working full time at Disney World, as you guys know, while I was doing the daily vlogs last year. But I also knew in January that I was getting an amazing opportunity at Walt Disney World Company at Disney. I was gonna be a VIP tour guide. You guys had no idea about that. I knew about it, I think in December of 2019, and I never really announced it. I did announce it on my Instagram, because you can follow that. I do a lot of announcements on Instagram, but I announced it there. I didn't make a YouTube video at all. I didn't make a YouTube video that I was leaving Hollywood Studios merchandise to be a VIP tour guide. The training to be a VIP tour, I think started January 16th, literally like two days after I ended the daily vlogs in 2020 which was kind of crazy that that happened. I ended the daily vlogs and then I had a cool opportunity at VIP tours literally two days apart. It was, it was literally a dream come true. The training I believe was a month and a half long. So it ended a little bit, no, I think it ended like in February, like the second week of February. So it was pretty much like a month long training. Literally cannot speak more highly of that job. It was literally the best job ever. If you guys want, I can make a whole video on being a VIP tour guide at Disney World if you guys would like. Comment that down below. Um, Literally amazing job. Literally the best job I've ever had in my life. But now here's where it gets tricky. We're in March now, and if you guys don't know what March is, that's basically when Disney World shut down and our whole country shut down. Disney closed, and uh, I lost my job as a VIP tour guide, and I went back to being a uh, merchandise cast member at Hollywood Studios. During quarantine, did some cool little weird videos on TikTok. <laughs> You know, what everybody else did. I first downloaded TikTok during quarantine. I can't believe that. I was in quarantine with Jojo, my roommate. That was good and bad sometimes. No! <laughs> but you know, we were living with each other for like five months not even doing anything because quarantine was so long. Also during quarantine too, an idea popped into my head. Since I love Disney and most of you guys love Disney, Jojo and I decided to make an apparel company called Dreamers where we drop apparel periodically Disney themed. I honestly still can't even believe like it's 2021 now, just because I feel like 2020, it's still like March. Unfortunately, it's December, but like I, it just went by so fast, so fast. 2020 in a nutshell, a year of unfortunate events. Hello, 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 children. And during quarantine, I really wasn't on YouTube because I was kind of just trying to figure out what I really wanted to do. I didn't think I was ready to come back on YouTube. I just didn't want to throw like, a video out there, I wanted it to be good. But thankfully, Disney announced that they're opening and that's when I was like, okay, I'm coming back to YouTube. And that's when I first made my first video back. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another vlog. We are here at Disney Springs. Disney Springs opened and then Magic Kingdom got a sneak peek for cast members, it was really great. Those were some fun videos to make. I was finally like finding myself again in a way because I was so lost in quarantine. Oh man, you would not believe how much this hurts. 
And then I got the call back for merchandise because Disney was opening, they announced that they're opening. Now here kind of gives like the transition to where I'm at today. You see, when I got called back, like I was obviously really happy to be called back and into working again because nobody was really working. I was happy to have a job, really. It, it, it felt great to have a job, especially at Disney. But during this time, I just felt like something was, was missing. I wasn't happy. And after months of working at Disney, I was battling this, this fight in, in my head, and I didn't know what to do. What do we do, Cam? We fight. I didn't know if I should be staying at Disney just because it was a sure bet job during a pandemic. But there was this fight going on in my head that I should be leaving. But then on the other hand, I'm just saying, I'm not happy. Like, I'm not where I want to be, but where do I want to be and how do I get to where I want to be? I guess you got a point. And then one day, I finally figured it out. More like I finally was just willing to take the risk. So I did it. Of course, this is when I figured out that it's best for me right now to leave the Disney company and work for myself here on YouTube. Of course, my heart goes out to those who lost their jobs at Disney, but for me right now, my Disney journey wasn't meant to be. So that's what I'm doing. I knew I could make an income on YouTube and I also know that I love doing it. So that's when I just kind of figured out, let's just, let's hop into the unknown. Into the unknown. <laughs> um, and that's what I'm doing. I'm working for myself. In 2020, I finally figured out that this is the year that I should take a risk in 2021 and work for myself. I've always been someone that's been wanting to work for myself as beginning as early as 2012. That's kind of when I first decided that I really wanted to work for myself. That was eight years ago. And technically I already did work for myself in 2019, if you guys remember when I was doing the daily vlogs and working for Disney. But the difference this time around is like I can focus on it each and every single day. It'll be my full focus here on this channel. I couldn't really put in the effort that I really wanted to last year in 2019 and then into 2020 just because I was also working at Disney pretty much 100 plus hours each and every single week, which is crazy. But now I'm gonna turn that into my channel. It's gonna have my whole focus and these videos are gonna be amazing. I literally can't wait. But I feel like in life we should just, we should do something that we ultimately love to do if we can do it. And I feel like this is the perfect time for me to actually do something that I really, really love to do and not focus on the money, but focus on being creative, making other people happy, creating some amazing videos that I love to do and sharing with you guys. And that's what we're gonna do. Starting January 4th, I will see you guys then. Thank you guys so, so much. If you guys are new around here, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button, thumbs the video up. And I'll see you guys January 4th. And like always, bang. Bang. Thanks for listening. See you later.